In the wake of the deadly bridge collapse in Minnesota, governmental and transportation authorities all over the country ordered stepped-up inspections of bridges. Even inspections that had already been scheduled took on a new sense of purpose, as with this examination of the viaduct that carries New York City's Riverside Drive over 12th Avenue. We all take the bridge inspection program very seriously, and we all know that people's lives are at stake, but obviously an incident like that brings that all home. The New York area has some of the nation's oldest infrastructure. The Pulaski Skyway, which takes U.S. Route 1 out of the city across the New Jersey wetlands, is both the same kind of bridge that collapsed in Minneapolis and one of the oldest of its type in the country. The bridge that collapsed in Minneapolis was 40 years old, just a baby by the standards of the New York City bridges. The 59th Street Bridge, which spans the East River between Manhattan and Queens, not only shows the marks of nearly a century of use, it now carries traffic volumes barely imagined when the bridge was put up in 1909. Back under Riverside Drive, inspectors are carefully examining the bolts that hold this bridge together. He's looking at connections of the floor beams and of the stringers, of the, of the girders and of the truss. He's looking at all of those connections at these piers to make sure all those connections are okay. That's where we think that the problems, that's where historically, that's where we find problems. We don't generally have bridges fail just because the material is weak or was bad. Usually bridges fail because of the connections. The failure in Minnesota doesn't change the inspection program here, but it does put a new focus on an infrastructure that's aging, and in many cases, not aging gracefully. Warren Levinson, The Associated Press, New York.